PhD is usually what we use when we're referring to somebody who's a doctor. And we think of a doctor as somebody who's a professional, well-trained, and, you know, honestly, somebody who we have a great deal of respect for. But I want you to think of PhD in a different way. I want you to think about the P, the H, and the D for a second. And what I want you to, to think about is how being poor, hungry, and driven are a great place to be. It's a great state of mind to be in, poor, hungry, and driven. Well, what do I mean? Look, it doesn't matter where you are in life. It doesn't matter if you're young. It doesn't matter if you're old. It doesn't matter if you're dirt poor. It doesn't matter if you're uh, in school. It doesn't matter if you're just starting a business or if you're just starting to climb the corporate ladder. Whatever place you're in, please, it's okay. I think one of the biggest problems that we face today in America is we think that we're supposed to be somewhere way before we should. And, you know, we hear these, you know, we, we see a, a, a 13 year old gymnast who's a multimillionaire. We see a 20 year old computer genius who, you know, is a multi-billionaire. And we think, oh man, you know, I'm 25 years old. I'm, I'm, I'm poor. I'm, I'm, I'm not making it. No, you know what? You're, you're just getting started. Look, don't ever relax. I mean, be aggressive, get after it. But, but, but the way I want you to think and feel about it is, is, is this way. You know, many people think that, that poor is, is a way of being. It's the way you were born. It's the way you were raised. It's the way it's always been in your family. But you know what? Poor should just be a part of the journey. Poor should just be a, a, a part of the story. You know, if, you, if, if you're poor... Uh, but you're hungry and you're driven to be successful, well, then you know what? You have the perfect state of mind. You have the perfect state of my, mind. And so again, you know, yeah, poor is when you're not making enough money. You're not making enough money to support yourself, to support your family. You know, you're not meeting your desired income. Hey, maybe you're destitute. I mean, maybe you're just down and out. I mean, you know, Eric Thomas was was homeless and and now he's he's a, a motivational speaker and a corporate trainer and and one of my favorite podcasts is you know sleep is for broke people but he was destitute and he was needing he took that poorness and but he had a hunger and he was driven he was driven look poor is temporary poor is temporary it doesn't have to be where you live it's it's just again part of the journey and so if you don't really want to stay poor, and I don't think anybody does, well, then you should take that poorness. The hunger that you have should be a hunger and a fight and a drive. It should be a drive, a desire, a great desire to, to do better, right? And, and, and desire is good. It's good to be hungry. It's good to want. That that hunger, that want makes you eager and it, 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 if you're starving, you know, the idea of starving is look and, and having that yearning means that look, you, you can't relax, you're, you're going to get after it. And, and how bad do you want it? How badly do you want it? Again, in Eric Thomas's example, it's the, the guru who, who puts the guy's head under the water and holds him down until he is to his last breath and, and he pulls him back up and says, look, when you want success as badly as you want breath, then you'll get it. And so the hunger part, the poor part's okay. It's, it's how bad do you want it? How bad? How driven? How driven are you? That, that poorness, that hunger should propel you. It should drive you to do better. And let's face it. We live in America. By being born in America, you, you hit the lottery. You may not feel like it and you may be struggling. And again, you may not have the amount of money or the car or the house or the job that you, you think you deserve or that you really want. And again, that's okay. It's okay to want more, but it's not okay to, to complain about it. It's not okay to blame shift. It's not okay to say, woe's me. Look, 
Uh, nobody is is born with the equal set of skills. Nobody is born with with the equal set of where they lived or their parents or their neighborhood. Listen, you got to deal with it. Life is not fair. Overcome the obstacle and move on. Use that as a as a drive. And so it's the idea then of being, you know, under a compulsion to succeed, under a compulsion to excel. This is why so many uh, multimillionaires have their stories of, of how they failed, how they went bankrupt. Because the failure, failure is an option, taking risk is an option, that failure will drive them to keep going. It, it, it'll drive them to keep going. Um, they will succeed. They want to succeed. Listen to how I built this podcast. Over and over and over again, I, I listen and I hear about business owners, men, women, rich, poor, educated, not educated, who had failure after failure after failure and use that to uh, propel them into success. Why? They were consumed. They were consumed. They were, they were completely motivated and driven to succeed. And so what drives you? I mean, what drives you? Or are, are, are you a person who really wants to do better? Are you really a person that, that wants to succeed? I mean, what is your why? Why are you here? Why do you do what you do? As a father, as a father who has a wife and children and responsibilities, is that what drives you? Or is it the, the, the fame? Is it the prestige? Is it you know being recognized at work? Really doesn't matter what drives you. Just as long as there is a drive in you. And so as long as you have a drive, as long as you have some fight, then you know what? You can get after it. You can be aggressive. And so if you can determine in your, in your heart, in your mind that, you know what? Poor is just a, a, a temporary place that you're going to use it and you're going to use that hunger to strive for more, and that's going to propel you, that's going to drive you to be successful, then you know what? You are a doctor, and you've earned your PhD.